the news tonight, governors saluted the ZELF's boards and governing councils of government institutions and agencies in Anambra State. Newly appointed Transition Committee Chairman for Anambra Local Government Councils inaugurated by Governor Saludo. Federal Road Safety Court to impound motorcycles without appropriate registration across the country. And on the foreigns in debt toll from Kentucky, USA, floods resist to 37. Before the news in detail, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core evil values. Let us give him maximum support for the tax ahead. Good evening and welcome to the news. My name is Chidema Oramwa. And now the news in detail. Anambra State Government has dissolved the boards and governing councils of government institutions and agencies with immediate effect. This was contained in the poster Anambra State Executive Council and SEC briefing by the Commissioner for Information, Sir Paul Mosu. The meeting was held at the Government House, Oka. A GK Abana has details. According to the Commissioner, the boards have been directed to hand over to the most senior civil servants in their organizations. He disclosed that plan is underway to hold a retreat for the Transition Committee chairmen and their principal officers. Samu also explained that in furtherance of, of government policy to reenact the prosperous era of M.I. Obara in the old eastern region, when cash crops were the main source of revenue, ANSEC constituted a committee drawn from the three senatorial zones to map out strategies for distributing the millions of coconut and palm seedlings which have been procured. He announced that ANSEC formally terminated the contract awarded to Messrs. Rockland Development Limited to construct the Ministry of Housing main office complex of Jerome Udolji Secretariat, a contract valued at 33,253,119 naira 66 kobo. He explained that the contract was cancelled due to lack of execution on the part of the contractor, emphasizing that ANSEC has resolved to take necessary steps to recover the said amount paid to the contractor. According to the Commissioner, the Attorney General of the State presented a memo which seeks to reform major aspects of the dispensation of justice and has called for the building of model juvenile delinquent facility in the state in line with international standards, noting that such facility does not exist in the Southeast. According to Commissioner Mosu, the Attorney General also proposed that the state justice system be digitized for quick dispensation of justice, which involve digital training of staff of the ministry. From the Government House, Oka, AGK Abana, ABS News. Governor Chukwu Masaludo has inaugurated the Transition Committee Chairman, who were recently appointed and confirmed by the State House of Assembly. The event was held at the Government House, or okay, Government House Correspondent, a GK Abana, has details. The 21 local government transition committee chairmen who have a three-month tenure are Prince Chibweze of OBK for Aguata, Dr. Anselm Onora for Anambra East, Mr. Felix Ikechi for Anambra West, Mr. Gerald Ozo for Anocha, and Mr. Emmanuel Ucheze for Oka North local government area. Others include Mr. Thank God Aniago for Oka South, Honorable Livinus Onyengwe for Ayamelum, Mr. Augustine Nonyelum for Dunukopia, Mr. James Obi for Ebusigo, and Mr. Chooks Ibanoa for Idemli North. While Idemli South local government area has Mrs. Imagleta Obi and Ihiala, Mr. Kingsley Obi, as well as Mr. Clems Agui for Njikoka. Newi North has Mr. Mbazulike Iloka as its chairman. Newi South, Mr. Ikenna Aniaboso. Onisha North, Mr. Charles Ozoma. Onisha South, Mr. Emeka Oji. Orumba North, Engineer Ogochuku Ekweme. Orumba South, Mr. Sunday Uchendo. Oyi, Mr. Emmanuel Weke. And Obaro Council has Mr. Pascal Anebuna as its chairman. Addressing the new Transition Committee Chairman, 
Governor Sorudo said that public service is the greatest platform to make a great difference and impact, reminding them that thousands of people in their respective local government areas look up to them for service delivery that will change their lives. While welcoming them as members of the solution team, the governor pointed out that they have become part of the disruptive change, more so at a time of various challenges, stressing that there is no room for excuses. You have been called upon to serve. And several of you, you've done several other very important things in your lives, excelled in various things in your lives. But this is a unique one. You are called upon to public service. And public service is the greatest form of philanthropy. There is nothing else above that other than creation and of God himself. Public service is that platform that you use to do what? Make a difference. There is no other platform that will offer you that opportunity to be called upon to serve. You look back to your respective local governments and think about the hundreds of thousands of people who now look up to you. Who will, from this moment, looking up to you to deliver service. The Commissioner for Local Government Affairs, Mr. Collins Wabwane, in his remarks said that the Governor's appointment of the Chairman was through thorough screening and clearance, expressing confidence in their ability to deliver on their mandate. We select people who we feel are capable and have the capacity to deliver within time. Mr. Governor, before you are the Chairman, and these people were thoroughly interviewed, thoroughly scrutinized, and cleared, and cleared by security agencies. None of them have found want. And from my discussion with them earlier, Mr. Governor, my promise to you is that with these people here, within the next one year, Anambra is going to change. In a vote of thanks, the Transition Committee Chairman for Orumba South, Mr. Neville Uchendo, pledged that they are eager and passionate to deliver on the job. Uh, Mr. Governor, our eyes filled with tears of joy for this Cambodian speech. And uh, when I look at the Cambodian speech, I can see that they are eager to go and do the job last week. Thank you. I'll show you today. These people have capacity. In America, one president said, I haven't seen nothing yet. You have not seen nothing yet. They have been doing a wonderful job. Recall that on Friday, July 29, 2022, Anambra State House of Assembly screened and confirmed the appointment of 21 persons nominated by the governor as chairman, local government transition committee which is in line with Section 208 of the Local Government Law. Deputy Governor Dr. Onyeka Chuku Ibezim, Deputy Speaker of the State House of Assembly Dr. Pascal Abodike, Secretary to the State Government Professor Solo Chuku Chief of Staff to the Governor Mr. Ernest Ezajiri, President General of Anambra State Association of Town Unions Barrister Titus Abudo, among others, witnessed the event. From the Government House, Oka, a GK Abana, ABS News. Deputy Corps Michelle, retired Mr. Andrew Kumapai of the Federal Safety Corps FRSC, has laid the foundation stone of FRSC Clinic at Nteja Unit Command, Oye Kensal Area. Correspondent Emmanuel Chiwata reports that the project was initiated by FRSC Special Michelle Unit of Enumbra State. His report. Performing the ceremony, Mr. Kumapai appreciated the special marshal for the initiative to build a clinic that will serve road crash victims and the community at large. While praying God to reward the benefactors for their selfless services to the society, Mr. Kumapai urged the special marshals to keep working together as one family, remain committed and disciplined in order to achieve set goals. I want to assure you that God, that you are, you know, will bless you and give you that honor in Jesus for that Amen. So honor you are given to me, I will do it. And I want to tell you that this building, as you see it, 
that six months. Amen. In that six months, Amen. it will be completed. Amen. Yeah. God will supply the form to you. After you have prayed pray with my heart, and I know it's going to come to pass. Amen. Six months. Amen. Favor, favor will come. Amen. Amen. The Anambra State Sector Commandant of FROC, Mr. Deoye Irolewuyi, noted that the State Command has been enjoying cordial working relationship with the Special Marshals, adding that the project, when completed, will help in achieving the goals of the Corps, which includes getting medical responses to victims of road crashes. Mr. Irolewuyi thanked the Special Marshals for their support, noting that measures have been put in place to ensure that the clinic meets international standards. I believe it is a way of achieving the goals of the FRC, especially in terms of reducing the response to road traffic crashes and getting medical aid to victims of uh, road traffic crashes. You know, it's cited just by the roadside and, uh, you know, we can give immediate attention. On his part, the FRC Special Marshal Zonal Coordinator, Mr. Friday Ekato, described the project as a welcome development and thanked Anambra Special Marshals for the initiative. The Anambra Coordinator of Special Marshals, Mr. Patrick Isumai, disclosed the facility will have male, female and children wards, medical doctors and staff offices, laboratories and theatre. He thanked the FRC State and Zonal Commander for giving approval for the project, assuring that the facility will be completed soon with the help of special marshals. We didn't mean fit through our sector commander to have a project that will benefit the road users and the community. And when we are discussing all this, and there are certain things the sector needs, but he said, Please forget about those needs. This one is paramount. From Munteje, Emmanuel Shibata for ABS News. Government at different levels have been charged to seek a holistic approach towards addressing the security challenges facing the country. Various speakers at the just concluded 2022 Oka Dasis and Bible Study Conference of the Anglican Youth Fellowship, AYF, say the insecurity situation faced on the country, which has become a hydra-headed monster, needs the unity and support of all it's the unity and support of all stakeholders and the citizenry. Correspondent David Okwasili reports. The four-day conference which took place at All Saints Anglican Church, Amenyoka has its theme as be strong and courageous. In his address, the president of Okada Sen Anglican Youth Fellowship, Mr. Chomo Kafo, appealed to federal and state governments to harmonize strategies to address the issue of insecurity in the country. Mr. Kafo explained that beyond providing spiritual guidance to the youths in the conference, the church also bears in mind that empowering youths with skills that will make them self-reliant are central to ending youth restiveness, which makes them to train the youths in different skills such as shoemaking, making of confectionery, perfume production, and writing of business plans and proposals. Now we tell a lot of things. If I get the but na church, na village. And they bought one out there and why you buy now, all of them go out. So I learn a lot of things, even skill acquisition. I know more work because education now we go see them. So I teach in the game more work. The senior now that is why I give me once in a year. I buy them what a lot of categories here. I know you like a cook in the muddy. When you like a we teach here in the muddy, no side of my Christ. Okay. For the chaplain of the Anglican Youth Fellowship in Okadaris, Reverend Canon Nanda Joko, the annual conference is designed to model the youth towards becoming very important access to themselves, their families, and the church. I will not be able to check our conference here, but I check on the youth one. One be Kuzilufa. Kuzilufa is a sponsor. If I am a Kuzilufa, I am a boss of our sponsor. Kuzilufa is a body. Bonyo youth. Mm. 
Delivering a seminar on the effects of social media on the younger generation, the managing director of Anambra Broadcasting Service, ABS Achido Bidewu, represented by Mr. Abuchimwazo, stated that young people can harness their potential if they positively use the social media and charged participants to focus more on sites, pages and social media groups that will empower them with positive skills and uplift their situation. To fight the menace being caused by social media in our society. Youths, you are getting the all forms of crime using social media. Other resource persons, including Reverend Kadon Onyeka Tukwe Wong, Dr. Ifoma Bosa, and the chairman of the Bible Study Conference Planning Committee, Mr. Chetai Leone, said the church plays a vital role in molding a disciplined and orderly youth who will grow to become policymakers and urge the leadership of the church not to abdicate this important responsibility. The order is to maintain discipline. The church is not a freelance institution. You don't do what you like. Anyhow, once you become a member of the church, you'll be discipled. And in disciplining you, discipline will be instilled. The way you talk, the way you dress, the way you move around. Even in church service, you're not meant to make movement anyhow. And that's why we have come today to talk to our young people. The conference drew over 1,000 delegates from the 18 archdeaconries, dairies, chaplaincies and other formations of the diocese. In Oka, I am David Okwasi reporting FBS News. Residents of the commissioner's quarters in Oka are also now given a sigh of relief as they now have a, a smooth ride in and out of their residential area. This follows a gesture by a philanthropist, Chief Meshach Odide, who embarked on palliative work on the road, reports access road to the quarters. Works correspondent Ngozi Opileri who monitored the pace and quality of work on the road reports. Men of the construction firm handling the project we are seeing doing various degrees of work at different levels on the road as many filled portions of the road were filled and some collapsed parts of the drainages were reconstructed. Anambra State Deputy Governor Dr. Onyekachuku Ibezim also inspected the road where he commended the philanthropist for doing a good job. Speaking to the ABS, the chairman of the firm handling the project chief Odide said that it was in solidarity with the Deputy Governor Dr. Ibezim, who he said is his bosom friend, adding that himself and other friends have agreed to support him with their goodwill and contributions. Chief Odide, an engineer who is also an estate developer and property manager, said that he took up the task after being certified competent to handle the job by the Minister of Works, assuring that he will extend the palliative work to all parts of the road, not previously included when he inspected the road with staff of the ministry. He appreciated the number state government for giving him the opportunity to offer his services to the state, pledging to put in his best whenever he is being called upon to do so. But uh, being a man that uh, I am, I always want to, the benefit of my society and the individual. I, whenever I pass this road, I always like, okay, I'm going to, one day I'm going to put some, do some correction about the uh, portholes. So I called uh, Dr. His Excellency, the Deputy Governor, Dr. Ibezim, Oyekachoku Ibezim, and I told him that uh, I have interest in doing most of the, uh, patching most of the road in uh, an Oka here precisely in Anambra State. So he said that, uh, okay, I should write to addressing it to the Governor, which I did and I forwarded to him. Immediately he forwarded to the Governor, Governor admitted it to the Commissioner for Works and they summoned me for an uh, interview. I went there and uh, they asked me what is my interest in doing this. And I said, no, I don't have any interest. It's just a humanitarian service. And I feel like doing it as a friend of the deputy governor. So they gave me the go ahead and uh, authority to start. Uh, I thank God uh, uh, today we're able to do some the commissioner quarters road. There are so many other roads that we uh, promised to do by the special grace of God. But at least we've uh, accomplished the one of uh, Commissioner Squatter's Road. In Oka, I am Ngozi Ubileri for ABS News. 
still to come on the news tonight federal government uh, federal Road safety court to impound motorcycles without appropriate registration across the country death a toll from kentucky usa flood rises to 37. and here's a special message Indian Umbra cannot allow criminal elements to hold the state and the people to ransom. Donate generously to the Anambra State Security Trust Fund, which has been set up to raise money for combating insecurity in the state. The news returns after this time out. Please join us again. Traveling? You deserve the absolute best. Enjoy maximum comfort in our new buses with more legroom. Like reclinable seats, onboard entertainment, and much more. Pick your preferred seat, choose your preferred shadow, travel on your terms. Ready for a premium ride driven by the best captains out there? Book now! Light up your day anywhere, even at home, with the rich, creamy taste of pure bliss. Welcome back to the news. The acting FRSC Corps Michelle, Mr. Dauda Bu, has directed the 37 sector commanders across the nation to impound any motorcycle without appropriate registration. Bu gave the directive in a statement issued in Abuja by the Corps Public Education Officer, Mr. Bisi Kazim. The FRSC board said that the directive came ne became necessary following the increasing number of unregistered motorcycles plying the roads. According to him, there is also a need for all motorcycles to be duly captured in the National Vehicle Identification Scheme database. He noted that the directive would help to curb insecurity if all captured motorcycles are in the national database. BU urged sector commanders to immediately liaise with the Board of Internal Revenue in their respective state to set up a tax force on the issue. He directed that the impounding of errand to motorcycles should be done jointly with the police, the vehicle inspection officer, and all the stakeholders for effective enforcement. The Director General of the Industrial Training Fund, Joseph Ari, has said that the agency is currently putting finishing touches to the processes and modalities that will enable it to begin mass production of Android phones for Nigerians. Ari, who spoke in just during a media briefing organized by the ITF to unveil its strategic policy direction for the 2022 to 2025 period. According to the DG, apart from the need to widen the capacity of the machines involved in the mass production of Android phones, there was also the need for the agency to finalize the legal framework for the purpose, intellectual property rights. The Director General decried the high rate of unemployment in the country, which he noted stood at over 33% pointing out that the situation had persisted mostly because over 23 million Nigerians that we are desirous to work but without requisite skills. At least uh, 37 people have now died in flash floods in eastern Kentucky as the region braces for more rainfall. At least six children, including four siblings aged 1 to 8, who were reportedly swept from their parents' grip, are among the dead. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir said the death toll would continue to rise as hundreds remained unaccounted for. More than 12,000 households remain without power and hundreds of homes and businesses have been flooded. The damage to roads, bridges and other infrastructure will cost millions to repair, the governor said. A Kentucky National Guard rescue helicopter is seen at above a stranded home near a city of Jackson. Mr. Bichet, who toured some of the hardest heat neighborhoods, said he had been seen houses swept away and schools ruined. President Joe Biden has declared the flood a major disaster and ordered federal aid to help local rescuers. 
and now sports, the Executive Committee of Confederation of African Football has approved the uh, revised Africa Cup of Nations 2023 qualification calendar. The committee in the statement on the Confederation's website said this was because of its commitment to allowing the African nations heading to the 2022 FIFA World Cup to prepare adequately. It said as a result of this, the 2023 African Match Day 3 and Match Day 4 qualifiers earlier scheduled for September have been moved to, from March 20 to March 28, 2023. March Day 6 will be played from September 4 to September 12, 2023. The 2023 AFCON will be played from January to February in 2024 in Cote d'Ivoire. Remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page, Arts ABS Radio Television. Subscribe to our YouTube page, Arts ABS Television, OCA. Follow us on Instagram, Art ABS Radio TV. Log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. And now the main points again. Governor Saludo has dissolved boards and governing councils of government institutions and agencies in Anambra State. Newly appointed Transition Committee Chairman for Anambra Local Government Councils have been inaugurated by Governor Saludo. Federal Road Safety Corps is to impound on motorcycles without appropriate registration across the country. And we also told you that death a toll from Kentucky USA floods has risen to 37. Here's a special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a turn around maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core evil values. Let's give him maximum support for the tax ahead. And that's it on the news tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Chidima Orangwa. Good night. <laughs>